Welcome to Threadline Stadium here in New York, home of the Tyrants. Well, they really cleaned up Times Square, huh? I kind of miss the sea of wandering zombies and the stench of the open zombie landfills. And they had this nice all-you-could-shoot zombies in a barrel arcade, I remember. Yeah, that was in a good old days, Grim. Now it's just a tourist attraction. Peep shows and organized crime. <laughs> Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cat litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, NFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. Spent all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. Quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. <laughs> Second down and long. And that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. Oh, that was nasty. And it's first and ten. This guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about 10 on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And that'll bring up third down and seven. Uh, if I was that QB, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. of the day is being played by my kid's sister. He just let that one drop and played safe and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and seven. Holds him to a four yard pick up there. Third down and three. And that's a sack. The quarterback has to get rid of the ball there. See that boot, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. 
And he put all of his foot into that one. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. Yeah. What the fuck, 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 fuck. fuck. And it's first and ten. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Third down and forever. No, well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And they'll line up for the punt here. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch, and it turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Oh. And it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets flumbed. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grim. <laughs> They're back up here on first. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. And the ref runs out of bounds and manages to survive somehow. Yeah, at least for another 40 seconds. <laughs> First down and forever. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and a mile. And use the strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys don't know which way forward is now. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse.
defense didn't stop the run. Or maybe they just secretly wanted four more shots at the QB. That's probably more like it. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Brix's mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Hot. a nice run. He stepped on a pop pop and blew out his flip-flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away again, Newton film. And it's first and ten. Don't worry, hit me shots in the... Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes... You get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. The 10. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. And I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed feet trap. He's running from his team. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Second down and a lot. on that one and he was just starting to pick up some speed hey Grim, i know a guy if that's what you're after third down and ten he dropped it if he does that again they'll drop him if they don't pick it up here they are giving a gift to the defense Some high rollers, and they just won the pot. That's a first down. First down to five. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. 
straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. The world, ruin it. First and ten. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this damn scrim. First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Defense goes one speed, and that defender just turned on his jets. And he finds open space, he's running toward the end. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! Oh, what a run there! Touchdown! No one was gonna stop him! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. The quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And that'll bring up second and one. One more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. And it's first and ten. And he 
put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Hot two, three. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least. They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And that pass is good for about five yards. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? I'm gonna go to a striptease show. Where we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He broke free and has open field in front of him. A pickup of about three on that play. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. It's the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's a relief, because you can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the... If he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, qu'est-ce que c'est? What the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. First down and six. 
He picks up a two. Second down and five. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. That's about a three yard pickup. Second down and seven. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Second down and more than the QB would like. Caught for the first down. First down and one. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. He's at the 40. The 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Yeah. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig.
Second down in a very... And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my... Oh, with a brutal hit. Third down and long. Oh, and he laterals the ball to the player behind him. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Defense wasn't ready for that at all, Bricks. The offense converts on fourth down and keeps the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to... And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and two. Oh, and he lateral. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third and two. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Third down and forever. Catch the 
the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really... They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. <laughs> Third down and never... Get and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And the punter has one job to do, and that's punt the ball. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. And a hard run there, picks up the first down. First and ten. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. First down and five. And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stooping time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Perfect pass and a score. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, he's talking about points. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. for 
a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you'd think. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And with one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Second down and ten. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> no more timeouts for the defense. Or the offense, Bricks. That's that's the important part. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. Good thing you he could go all the way! The 10! Touchdown! You know, the league used to flag this for excessive celebration. You know, refs really don't want to get too close to the rabid roided out monsters. And don't even get me started on the werewolf. <laughs> and they line up for the extra point. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. The defense knocked the pass down, and quarterbacks hate that. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. The New York Tyrants have won the game. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I have wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -mm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.